a decade, Ravens Incorporated, led by Phil and Cheryl Neely, has worked to build a thriving missionary community in the Sierra Madre Mountains of Mexico, targeting their ministry toward the Taramara people. Through the years, Ravens has consistently provisioned a variety of missionary works by organizing construction projects and delivering clothes, food, educational tools, and building supplies in a number of projects and communities throughout the region. Salt Lake Christian Center was one of the early partnering churches when Ravens began and has been crucial to the work with generous gifts of time, resources, and finances. It was a decade ago that God began to speak to Cheryl and I about ministry to the Taramara Indians in the remote villages of the Sierra Madres. One of the people that we shared this with was our longtime friends, Ray and Kathy Smith. They got on board with us immediately Ravens has worked alongside local Mexican missionaries Cruz and Gabriel Velasquez with Proyectos Carima, which operates three thriving children's centers adjacent to schools in the villages of Napuchis, Basigochi, and Coriachi. These centers provide room and board, three meals a day, and loving care to 300 Taramara children who would otherwise have no shelter during the school year. Several teams from Salt Lake Christian Center have made the journeys to the Sierra and poured concrete for a basketball and soccer court, put a new roof on a church, built staff housing, and built a dining hall and basement at the Children's Center in Coriachi. Eight years ago, you put a team together and the finances together to help us build the largest building in the village of Coriachi. This building is our, our dining hall. It feeds 150 children every weekday and also on the lower level is where we take them for uh, children's church. It's where they get help with their homework. Uh, this building is used uh, almost every day of the year in some way. It has actually become a community center for the village of Coriachi. In the years since, these buildings have been used each and every day to provide a safe haven for hundreds and hundreds of children. Children who are being evangelized, children who are being discipled daily and are growing in faith and power in Christ. We are now seeing many young people from these centers answering the call to full-time ministry. If we didn't have the facilities, this simply would not be happening. The church in Samachike is full to capacity, and we are actively seeking a solution to create a larger worship space. Pastor Cruz has shared his vision for a church of 1,000. Now more than ever, the ministry is beginning to focus on training up the Taramara Church for Ministry. In 2016, we launched Worship in the Sierra Madre, by bringing a group of American musicians to train Taramara young people to lead worship. Deeply embedded in the Taramara culture is Tesquino, a homemade corn beer. Each community holds Tesquinadas, or beer festivals, on a regular basis, corresponding to religious holidays. These festivals give opportunity for many bad things, such as violence and child abuse. The Tesquino culture has kept the Taramara in bondage and close to the gospel for generations. The Taramara by nature are very shy and reserved people. Their only social outlet centers around uh, their celebration of what they call a tesquino, which is the consumption of their native uh, corn beer. We're seeking aggressively to try to replace this with a culture of worship, that they can find the expression that their heart desires through the genuine worship of a, of a life-giving God. We are on the brink of seeing a revival in the Sierra that has never happened before. This is God's time for the Taramara people. Your pastors Ray and Kathy Smith will be leading two trips to the Sierra in 2017. The first trip is from July 29th to August 5th during the time of the Taramara Spiritual Fiesta in Napuchis. Each year we see crowds of over 2,000 people from Mexican and Taramara churches attend. The second trip is slated for September 30th through October 7th. Both trips will give several opportunities for ministry, including construction, children's, youth and music, and men's ministries. Pastor Ray Smith called me just a few days ago and uh, gave me the good news that they're making plans to join us at at least one, perhaps two, uh, mission team trips this coming year of 2017. And we're very excited about this. It's always a, a great time of fellowship as well as being productive in so many other ways. If you feel God directing you to get involved, you need to do two things right now. Talk to your pastor about specific plans and make sure you have a valid passport. Thanks in large part to you, our facilities in Samachike are secure and comfortable, making it easier to minister, and we're located just a 10-hour drive south of El Paso, Texas. 
Even though the cost of the trip is relatively inexpensive, teams will experience authentic missions work in a third world environment. God is moving in an unprecedented way in the Sierra. Darkness is turning to light and you can see the difference in the lives of the people. Salt Lake Christian Center has been a vital part of this in the past and Ravens is excited to share this great harvest with you in 2017. The most productive results we have comes from churches that are joining us year after year. They're consistent in their vision, they're consistent in their support, and we believe that uh, the blessing of God rests upon Salt Lake Christian Center because of your involvement not only in missions like ours but in other missions around the world. <music>